So let's start in 2014. That year, in the span of four months, American police officers murdered unarmed Eric Gardner in New York, unarmed Michael Brown in Ferguson, and 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland. And as a result, I, like many around the world, looked for ways to collectively and productively respond to the injustices that we had seen. And one popular mechanism became to utilize Twitter, the social media platform that for years had been used by many black activists and black users of the platform. And the viability of Twitter as this response mechanism was seen in the aftermath of the Browner and Gardner murders, when the hashtag Black Lives Matter erupted amongst Twitter, becoming one of the most popular hashtags tweeted of 2014. And for those unaware, a hashtag is simply a way for users on Twitter to key into conversations and engage in conversations with other users on the platform. And ever since 2014, the hashtag Black Lives Matter has become a rallying cry of sorts for this new online generation's black liberation movement. I followed black activism on Twitter since around the spring of 2015. And since, I've observed three reasons for the platform's effectiveness in black activism's use. Number one is protest power. Black activists on Twitter have utilized the platform as a megaphone for their protest messages. Look no further than the hashtag Black Lives Matter as a prime example. Additionally, black activists are utilizing the platform's protest power to cause real change in the streets uh, and in live time. For example, we, we saw in 2014, when uprisings erupted in Ferguson after the Michael Brown murder, black activists and users took to the streets of Ferguson to tweet live pictures, video, commentary, straight from the heart of the protests. And suddenly, their voices became the dominant news source on the Ferguson uprisings. They became an empowered unit to speak about the protests that they were engaging in. Twitter, as the uh, backing platforms, was able to provide a vehicle for those protests to exist. Additionally, number two is educational opportunities. Black activists on Twitter have a wide range of opportunities to teach and spread knowledge. We see this in examples like uh, topics ranging from black women in politics or uh, hypermasculinity in the black male community or revolutionary black leaders of the past and much more. Right? And black activists and black intellects on Twitter are using these topics and teaching them and it inherently serves as another form of protest because these are often topics that go under discussed or flat out ignored in our society's other educational spaces. And so I've learned so much from black activists and intellects on Twitter because I've had an opportunity to engage in a wide range of perspectives as well as challenge myself to learn a wide range of ideas. This again is another example of black activism's effectiveness. Number three is the unavoidable, undeniable influence and impact of black activists and black users on the platform of Twitter. Black activists have become crucial talking points in society, as well as black hashtags, right? Nowhere you can go in our society today is devoid of mention of Black Lives Matter or black issues that have been raised largely because of the, the visibility of black activism on Twitter. For example, in 2016, uh, in the presidential election campaign, we saw presidential candidate Hillary Clinton sit down with some of the Black Lives Matter activists to discuss a range of black issues. Some of the same activists who in 2014 were live tweeting video and pictures from the streets of Ferguson. So think about that ascension as well. Additionally, we've seen international acceptance and embrace of black activism on Twitter. Uh, we saw protests of Black Lives Matter erupt in Canada, South Africa, all across Europe, and this international acceptance of the Black Lives Matter movement is extremely important to understand why it's so effective. But let's take a step back, because the, the impact of black activism on Twitter is clearly something that has become a, a new sort of phase over the last few years. But at the same time, who could have imagined that in 2014, uh, black activists tweeting from the streets of Ferguson and me reacting all the way in New Jersey could suddenly, in two years, see those same black activists meeting with presidential candidates and having their ideas represented on an international scale. And so that's kind of why it's so important for me, because black activism on the platform of Twitter has become a crucial idea in our society, and that's why it's important to understand and engage in its future. 
Black activism has often been su suppressed and silenced by America historically, but now black activists through a platform like Twitter are centralizing their voices, empowering their perspectives, and changing the narrative on a daily basis. Right? And so personally, I've also seen the impact of black activism. I've learned so much over the last few years about myself and my identity, my status in America as a young black man growing up in this country, my perspectives on ideas relating to my community. I've learned so much about my history because of black activism on Twitter and black users utilizing the platform. And in general, this is just a place where I'm able to express my ideas as well as learn new ones. And so undeniably, right now, in this moment, Black activists around the world and here in America are leaving an undeniable influence and impact on our society, on our generation, and on our future. Thank you.